The four chamber view is the basis of every fetal cardiac examination. Its standardized acquisition is required by the Swiss Society of Ultrasound in Medicine. The study of the four chamber view starts with the correct identification of fetal laterality. An abdominal transverse cut shows the left sided stomach. The heart is pointing to the left. Two thirds of the heart is on the left side of the thorax. This is called levocardia. The cardiac axis is 45 degrees plus minus 20 degrees. The normal size of the heart is about one third of the area of the chest. The heart beats regularly. We confirm synchronous contractions of both atria and ventricles. The image should be magnified until the heart fills at least one third of the screen. Confirm the existence of four chambers. Evaluate the symmetry between the atria and the ventricles. The left ventricle reaches the apex of the heart. The right ventricle is adjacent to the chest wall. The moderator band can be seen in the tip of the right ventricle. Both atria are nearly equal in size. The left atrium is angular in shape. The pulmonary veins are connected to the left atrium. The left atrium is connected to the left ventricle by the mitral valve. The right atrium has a more circular shape. It connects via the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle. We can recognize the foramen ovale and its leaflet, the flap valve. The aorta is seen behind the left atrium in front of the spine. The cine loop function is an excellent tool to evaluate the crux of the heart. The tricuspid valve is slightly more apical than the mitral valve. Both AV valves are implanted separately. They open and move freely. The small interauricular septum, septum primum, is visible. Additional color Doppler allows the assessment of the atrioventricular valves and shows absence of regurgitation. It also helps confirmation of the pulmonary venous drainage to the left atrium. In the lateral view, the interventricular septum is evaluated. The absence of flow indicates its integrity. Here we see the septum primum and the foramen ovale with its flap valve moving freely into the left atrium. In conclusion, the four-chamber view constitutes one essential part of basic fetal sonography. Teaching of its acquisition and interpretation is paramount. Thank you for watching.